Hey guys, Duncan here coming to you from ProValueNet out of Stillwater, Oklahoma. Today our tech talk covers simple steps on how to resolve internet issues you may be experiencing. Um, these steps can be performed basically by anyone. It's as simple as just unplugging a few cables, plugging them back in, which we're going to go over here. Um, so basically the first step is when you're experiencing intermittent service or maybe offline service, one of the basic steps is to power cycle the equipment. By power cycle, we mean just unplugging the power to it for 30 seconds and plugging it back in. We have a PoE device inside the house that powers the equipment outside your home or powers the GPON to your fiber connection. This PoE injector has one ethernet cable running to our equipment that powers it. PoE stands for power over ethernet. We power it over the ethernet cable. So with the PoE injectors, they look like this. They are located somewhere in the house, typically the entry point of the home for the connection. With this PoE injector, all you have to do to power cycle it is unplug the power cable out of the PoE injector, wait for 30 seconds for it fully discharge. This light on the front of the PoE injector will dissipate indicating that it has fully lost power. Once you've waited about 30 to 60 seconds, you may plug the power back in. So typically it can take up to five to 10 minutes for the equipment to fully power back on and reconnect to our network. Once that is done, go ahead and check your internet service and see if you're still experiencing issues. If so, the next step is to reseat the cables on the bottom of the PoE. We will always have a black cable with a metal end plugged into the power port and it is labeled either power or PoE on it. We do have stickers on our PoE that indicate PoE outside, meaning that that port powers the equipment outside. It's as simple as clipping out and then reseating the cable. Once you have done that, again, wait for five to 10 minutes for the equipment outside to boot back up, test your internet service one more time, see if you're still experiencing issues. If so, there's one more step you can perform before contacting technical support. The last step is to do the same thing to your router. You may unplug the power to your router for at least 30 seconds. While the router is powered down and is fully dissipated of power, go ahead and unplug the ethernet cables and plug them back in to reseat those cables in case one of them may be causing your issue. After 30 seconds, power the router back on, check your service again, and if you're still experiencing service issues, contact technical support at ProValueNet at 405-624-6000. Option three on the call menu will get you to a trained support technician that would be happy to assist you in any way they can. Thanks for joining us today, guys, and have a fantastic day.